In this video I'm going to show you 7 amazing cleaning tricks that everyone should know because they can make your life a lot easier. Let's start with trick number 1, which requires shaving cream, because did you know that you can clean your washing machine wonderfully with shaving cream? The ingredients in shaving foam have an incredible cleaning power, which I would like to present to you here. You can even clean the eye of the washing machine with it. Just put some shaving foam on a cloth and start wiping the inside of the glass door. You can also leave it on for 10 minutes after spraying it on. Then wipe it off and you will see that the door is really clean again and you have a clear view. And you can do the same in the drum. Take shaving foam again, put it on a cloth and wipe through the drum. It's also perfect for cleaning the outer rubber and the outer frame of the washing machine in general. You should also spread a good amount of shaving foam in the washing machine itself. Again, this is best done with a cloth. Now you can let the washing machine run through completely without washing. This will ensure that everything inside the machine is clean and tidy. Run this cleaning program about every two months and your washing machine will be much cleaner and last much longer if you clean the inside. For trick number two, you need a conventional dishwashing tap. One problem that many people have is that the drain in the kitchen stinks or no longer drains properly. This is also due to the fact that a lot of dirt gets into the drain when you wash the dishes. Most of the time you can't prevent the whole thing from happening. All you have to do is heat water in a kettle. Then take one of these dishwashing rubs and put it down the drain in your kitchen sink. This is because the dishwashing tap has an incredibly good grease dissolving power which means that you can remove a lot of dirt and thus also the reasons for bad smells in your drain. Now as I said place it in the drain and then pour the hot water over the dishwashing tap. You will notice that it dissolves relatively quickly in the water. And so the whole thing now runs through your drain and can clean everything really nicely once. You should pour about a liter of hot water down the drain. Then you can rinse again with hot water from the tap. But first you should let it work for about 20 minutes. When you have rinsed again all the residue will have disappeared from your drain. It should no longer stink and the inside is really clean again. You can repeat this process approximately every 1 to 3 months, depending on how often you use your drain. For the third trick you need citrus peels, that is from an orange, tangerine or lemon. Because if you eat or use one you shouldn't throw the peel away. You can use it wonderfully in your dishwasher. This has several advantages, but first I'll show you how to use it in the first place so that it works. I have an orange here now and cut off some of the peel, because we need the peel completely without the pulp now. So it's best to cut it off with a peeler or with a knife so that you don't have any of the pulp left on the peel. Now you can take several pieces of peel and put them in the cutlery basket in your dishwasher, because that way they shouldn't be flying around you like crazy. I have a cutlery drawer, so of course I put them in there. And now we let the whole thing run normally. That means the dishes are in here and we start cleaning. The advantage is that because of the citric acid the whole thing will have a much better cleaning performance here. This means that your dishes will be really clean and it also acts as a small deodorant for the dishwasher. It will smell really nice and fresh afterwards. When the dishwasher is finished you can take the peel out and throw it in the rubbish. But you don't have to throw it straight in the bin, you can use it again for this little trick beforehand. Make sure you try it out for yourself. For the next trick we need shaving foam again. Because did you know that you can also clean your rubbish bin wonderfully easily with shaving foam? Because even though you use rubbish bags, the bin gets dirty over time and should be cleaned. And this can be done really easily and quickly with a little shaving foam. Put shaving foam on a cloth and spread it all over your bin. Because the ingredients in the shaving foam not only clean the bin really nicely, but also kill bacteria. So I take the shaving foam and spread it all over the rubbish bin. So that there is some of the shaving foam everywhere. After that it's time to wait. I'll let the whole thing work for about 30 minutes before I start to wipe everything out again with a damp cloth. This is really quick and easy. In between you have to rinse the cloth again to make sure you get all the shaving foam residue out. And afterwards the bin is really clean again and it even smells nice because shaving foam is usually a little perfumed. Now you can put the backpack in and enjoy a clean bin. You can repeat this every 2 to 3 months. For trick number 5 let's clean the blender. You probably know how it is when you have prepared a smoothie or something else in a blender. 
Afterwards it is quite dirty and cleaning such a blender is usually very exhausting and annoying. But it is much easier. You can completely clean such a blender in really 10 seconds. All you have to do is put hot water in the blender. I've got some water in here now. It's about half full. And then I add a small amount of dishwashing liquid to it. Because what we do now, we put the blender back on its station, put the lid on and start it. Because by giving everything a good will, here and now we have warm water and washing up liquid in it. We can make sure that the blender is completely clean from the inside. I'll show you what the result looks like in a moment. In the future you should really only clean your blender like this, because it's much easier than cleaning it in a sink. As you can see I have now rinsed everything through here once and now you can see that there is really hardly any dirt left on the rim here. So we dump the water out once and rinse again with fresh water. And then you can already see that the blender is completely clean and it only took me 10 seconds to do this and I didn't have to laboriously rinse it. You should definitely try this if you are always annoyed about having to clean your blender yourself. For trick number 6 we want to clean our floor, so it's cleaner than ever. To do this grab your bucket and put hot water in it. It should be at least 60 degrees. So I dump in water that I've previously heated with a kettle. And then we need one more ingredient and that is washing powder. I now use a laundry pot like this here. Because washing powder is actually very good for getting the floor really nice and clean. I put the washing pot into the water here. Because the water is very warm it dissolves completely. It will take a few minutes and then we can start to mop the floor. So now I grab my mop and go into this water with it. And then the floor will be mopped as usual. In other words, you do everything as usual. But instead of a conventional cleaning agent, you put dishwashing powder or one of those washing pots into your water. And when you have mopped your floor for a short time you will notice that a lot of dirt is removed from the floor and the mops looks really dirty afterwards. So you can really mop the floor with it and it will be cleaner than it has probably ever been before. So try this trick out for yourself. Let's move on to our last trick. For this we need ordinary floor, which we spread in our sink. Because even if the sink has already been cleaned it usually doesn't look as shiny as it used to. But with floor you can make it really shine. This works on stainless steel in general. So not only on stainless steel sink but also for example on your oven or other stainless steel surfaces. I'm going to show you here using the sink as an example. How you can do the whole thing really quickly and easily. However the sink should be completely dry otherwise this trick won't work. Then we grab some floor and put it on a cloth or spread it directly in the sink itself. It doesn't have to be that much. A small amount of floor is enough. I almost used too much here. Now we take a cloth and start rubbing it through the sink. The floor really makes the sink shine again and the stainless steel is nicely prepared. Afterwards you should remove the excess floor and put it in the rubbish bin. So it's best not to wash it down the sink. If there's a little left over it's not a big deal but the large amount should definitely be taken out and thrown in the bin. And afterwards you can see that your sink is really nice and clean again and shines much more than before. That's all the tricks. Would you now also like to know 10 really ingenious aluminium foil tricks that everyone should know? Then be sure to watch the video I'm linking to you here. You would make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.